In this video, we will show you how to commission a brand new Zappy Glow for your customers. Begin by downloading the My Energy Installer app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Please note that we do not support any other platforms at this time. Once the app has been installed, open it and either log in if you already have an account or press Create an account to begin the registration process. Enter your installer ID. If you do not have one, tap I don't have one. You will then be directed to an external browser form. Please note, if a matching company email domain or contact email match has been found, this installer type section will be bypassed. Follow the on-screen instructions until you successfully complete the submission form, then navigate to your email inbox to retrieve your installer ID. Create a password for the installer app, ensuring you enter it twice to confirm they match. Tick the box to confirm your understanding of the terms and conditions and the privacy notice. Finally, verify your phone number and your account will be created. Your account has now been created. Before we continue, consider setting up a digital business card that can be used to hand over to My Energy customers. This will be discussed more in depth on another video. If you want to skip this section and just install the device, you can head to the Digital Business Card section of your installer account home screen to set this up another time. After successful registration, you will be presented with the landing screen. Tap Set Up Device to begin the installation process. At present, the installation app only supports Glow Zappies and no other My Energy products. However, support for additional products will be introduced in the future. Confirm that you are setting up a Glow. Follow the on-screen instructions to establish a Bluetooth connection. Ensure Bluetooth is activated on your mobile device. The Glow is powered off and then turned back on to activate Bluetooth. Bluetooth will remain active for 15 minutes. On the installer app, tap Search via Bluetooth. You may need to grant the app permission to access Bluetooth. The app will search for available Glow units. Once your Glow appears with the correct serial number, Tap on it to establish a connection. The app will prompt you to enter the pairing code, which can be found in the installation manual. Once entered correctly, the app will confirm a successful connection. If the pairing process fails, the most common reason is an incorrect pairing code. Ensure that the correct code for the specific Glow unit is being used. After successfully connecting to the Glow, a variety of setup options will become available. These must be completed systematically, similar to setting up an OG Serial Zappy 2, but using the app instead of on-screen buttons. Tap Installation Details. Customer Details. Input the customer's name and email. This ensures the device is registered correctly and is transferred to the correct user upon handover. If the customer details are unavailable, for example, for a new build property, the installation can proceed without entering them. However, an email address is still required. Tap Address. This is crucial for grid protection, DSR, and must be correctly entered. Ecosystem Selection. If this is the first My Energy product at the site, select New Ecosystem. When creating a new ecosystem, the Glow unit will automatically be assigned as the controller and gateway device. If adding Glow to an existing My Energy setup, select Join Ecosystem. Follow the on screen instructions, then select Pair with Controller Device. After successful pairing, Glow is now Secondary Device. This Renewable Energy section requires you to confirm the presence of renewable energy sources on site. The Time Zone section provides you a choice of time zones from across the globe to select. If you are installing a Glow at a UK address, you will typically use GB GMT BST. Device pin requires you to assign a unique pin to prevent unauthorized changes. It is strongly advised you keep this pin number in a safe place as you will need it if you wish to edit device setup in the future. Please note, this pin number should not be shared with the customer to prevent risk relating to device setting changes from the customer end. You have now completed the installation details section. Press the back button to navigate to the setup menu, 
where we will now look at connecting GLOW to the internet. Choose who will connect the GLOW unit to the internet. You can either connect the GLOW unit to the internet yourself by selecting Installer, or let the customer connect themselves at a later point in time via the MyEnergy app. If you are connecting the GLOW unit to Wi-Fi yourself, make sure Installer is selected and toggle the Wi-Fi button on. The app will prompt you for Wi-Fi access where you will then be able to select from available Wi-Fi networks. Once you have selected the appropriate Wi-Fi network, you will then be taken to the network name page where the network management protocol, DHCP, will be toggled on by default in order to set the IP address host details automatically. If you wish to manually edit or view the network IP address details, toggle DHCP off. Now you can edit each section where necessary. Once the network details have been established, enter the customer's network password and press connect. If a customer's network does not appear automatically under the Select Network section, you can manually enter the network details by selecting Other and then filling out the network name and network password with DHCP toggled on or toggle DHCP off to manually fill out the network details. Once you have connected, navigate back to the main internet page and press Save. Within the load management menu, configure the following settings. Supply type. Select whether the installation is single phase or three phase. If selecting three phase, specify which phase the GLOW is installed on to ensure correct CT clamp rotation for future readings. Adjust the internal load limit if required. This is particularly useful for local limits on subboards. Grouping limits. If installed solely on the main consumer unit, this step can usually be skipped. CT clamp configuration. If hardwired CT clamps are installed, select the appropriate type, in this case, grid. Then as an optional choice, you can add your clamp to a group. Check the CT clamp details are correct before pressing save a final time. If using Harvey connected CT clamps, configure them in the Harvey CT menu. A full Harvey CT clamp setup section will be shown in another video. For now, we will press skip. With installation details and load management completed, you have now completed the mandatory tasks and the device is now installable. However, we will continue with the completion of each task as is advisable. RFID pairing. Glow is supplied with an RFID card, which allows users to initiate charging without using the app. Tap pair RFID in the app. Hold the RFID card against the RFID icon on the Glow. A short beep confirms successful pairing. Hand the RFID card to the customer or leave it in an agreed upon location if they are absent. Grid import and export limits. Import limit. This defines the maximum power your ecosystem can draw from the grid. Import and export limits are controlled by the controller device within the ecosystem. If solar is installed, regulatory requirements may impose export limitations. If unsure, consult the customer or solar installer for details. Set the device limit. This sets the maximum current the customer's charger can draw based on their supply. This must be between 7.2 and 31.8 amps. If you wish to document your install, you can submit photos to the gallery using the camera icon. Some optional additional settings in the other section can be adjusted if required. These include radio channel selection, gateway configuration, MPAN entry and earthing arrangements. This other section will be covered in a separate video. For now, let's go ahead and press install. Confirm the customer's email is correct and press continue to proceed. Once the installation has completed, press handover to customer. The system will generate an installation handover email for the customer containing a registration code and a serial number. This information enables the customer to register and activate their Glow via the MyEnergy app. Finally, press send handover to send the email to the customer's email inbox. Congratulations, the installation is now complete. The Glow unit is now fully installed and configured. Ensure that you provide the customer with their RFID card, confirm they have received the handover email and answer any remaining questions before leaving the site.